Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Dahlcourt from CNET here at CES 2014, which is very quickly becoming the show about wearables. I'm wearing on my face a pair of Aura S AR eyewear. I know that sounds like a bit of a vowel -y tongue twister, but these glasses, unlike Google Glass, are really focused on augmented reality. So it does a lot of the same things that Google Glass will do, notifications, directions. There's actually Android built in, runs independently. So when they release the SDK to developers, a lot of different apps will be able to work with this. You can do a lot of different things. Augmented reality, however, is really where this thing will shine. Now, you've got here a pivot of a screen, and that's kind of neat because it means that you can either look at the head-up display, which is in the center of the lens, either below a little bit, so you're looking down and it's peripheral, or you can flip it up so it's right in the center of your eye. This is a 25-degree display. To my eye, if I'm looking at it, looks like it takes up about two inches, so it is a little bit bigger than Google Glass. During the demo, I saw a lot of information projected on the screen. You can see anything. You can see directions. You can also see augmented reality browsers, for example. It's going to launch with the Wikitude browser. This is a mock-up device that I'm wearing, but the final version will come with a camera that can also shoot video. That'll be five megapixels. Now, there will be a touchpad just like Google Glass, so you can use your finger and all sorts of gestures to navigate the phone. There is a dual core processor in here and a 600 milliamp hour battery. It's also all the usual Bluetooth connections, compass sensor, accelerometer, and gyroscope. Now, this pair of glasses is really blocky on my face. The final version will be much slimmer, but this is still not fashion accessory glassware. This is something right now for developers and for people who are interested in the AR capabilities. Developers can get their hands on the Aura S in March for about $950. That will include the SDK. Consumers who are interested should see it show up around Q3 for probably about $350. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET here at CES. You can catch all of our coverage at CNET.com.